Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Rick D Reacts. Normally you can find me reacting to music you've never heard of before, movie trailers, and the odds and ends of YouTube. Now I get to do something completely different. When I was given this collection, I didn't really think about making content out of it. It wasn't really on my radar until I went to start looking through them. I'm going to start looking through the boxes. And as I was getting ready to start, I was like, oh, why don't I just film this? And then I was like, oh, I can turn this into an unboxing. And I can share this with everybody out here in YouTube land that cares about unboxing comic books and looking at comic books and enjoying something that I've enjoyed for, man, a little bit over 40 years. I started collecting when I was very young. I can still remember buying my first comic book from a friend of mine for 25 cents when he got done reading it. Uh, it was a Sergeant Rock issue and it was amazing. And the second one he sold me was a GI Combat. And then I found out you could actually go to the store and buy these things. And they had Star Wars and they had Captain America and they had Spider Man. And that turned me into a comic book collector which was something that I did for quite a while, but I haven't actually been actively collecting for about 20, 25 years now. So doing this kind of took me back to my childhood and was really exciting, especially since I ran across a bunch of titles and publishers that I had never heard of before. It was like discovering comic books all over again for the very first time, which was really exciting and not something you often get a chance to do to experience that sensation of the first time you discover something to be able to get a second chance at that was really something special. So I decided to share it with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Um, this first episode is very rough. I didn't think it through. It was kind of spur of the moment when I did it. And so the, the framing is not very good. It's all done in portrait instead of landscape. Uh, and I wish I could have gone back and done all of that over again, but it kind of defeats the purpose of unboxing and reacting to seeing something for the first time. So what you see is what you get. And I apologize for the bad camera. That said, I learned my lesson very quickly when I went to go edit it and decided that moving forward from episode two on, I had a di completely different setup, something that was a lot more clear, a lot more visible and a lot more descriptive. I hope you guys enjoy this journey that I'm about to take with you. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of memories brought up, good memories from being a comic book collector and seeing a bunch of titles I hadn't seen in years, a bunch of new stuff. And sharing it with you is just amazing. So if you enjoy this, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do ring the bell because you'll be notified immediately when I drop new episodes. And definitely leave me a comment. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you know about these comic books. Um, if I run across special issues and just don't realize it, I want you to tell me why they're special. If you run across titles that amazed you and you're very fond of and have memories of, I'd like to hear about them too. Uh, because a lot of this stuff, you never know. Comics affect everybody differently and a lot of people were different fans of different publishers and different titles for a lot of different reasons. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you guys. And if you would do me a favor, Share this with your friends, neighbors, family, complete strangers, people that you know that you think would get a kick out. Fellow comic book collectors, comic aficionados. There's people that just like unboxings. Uh, I'd love to get their input as well. So without any further ado, this is episode one of the great unboxing of an abandoned comic book collection um, project. Let's get started. What if number six? Whoa, that's an old one. What if number two? What if number one? Get out of here. Are you serious? Vault of Horror. Star Wars number one. Hey everybody, 
Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something completely different this time because I've had something fall into my lap. A couple weeks ago, my brother called me up and said, hey, uh, I've got a friend. He has a bunch of comic books that he's been storing for a buddy in his garage for about 10 years. He's never heard from the guy. They're just abandoned. He needs to get rid of them. He's getting ready to throw them away. Do you want them or do you know somebody that wants them? My brother's like, I know somebody that wants them. My brother used to collect pretty big back in the day. Not so much now, but he would love them. He's like, if you can haul them off, he can have them. So he hauled them off and he brought them to me. And when I say he brought them to me, man, he rented a U-Haul to bring these suckers down. It's 26 long boxes, two short boxes, and of course a bunch of banker boxes here and some odds and ends and uh <laughs> it's it's a whole mess of comic books now he's been these have been stored for 10 years which means the youngest comic book in here is 10 years old but just glancing through a couple while we were moving um some of these go back quite a ways but I'm not sure how far. I haven't I haven't dug through them. I haven't emptied them out. I haven't looked at them hard. I've just like glimpsed one or two here. Make sure a lot of the ones in the long boxes are bagged and backed and taken care of. Although some were about half stacked. So they're kind of lent, lent over. So I'm afraid there's going to be some spine damage on them. Uh, the boxes, whew, uh, they're kind of rough. I decided, I was like, hey, I can do an unboxing Right, I mean, I've got 28 legitimate boxes here I can unbox. Why not put them up on my channel, see what's out there, and then I'm gonna have to like figure out what to do with all these things. Cause, uh, I'm pretty sure my collection's pretty small. My my collection right now has been around for about 20 years. Haven't really added to it in quite some time, and it's probably about 10, 12 boxes. Um, which means I'm probably gonna have to make a decision here about what to do with all my comic books since I'm not reading them anymore. I'm not collecting anymore. Uh, but that's to come in the meantime, we're going to set this all up. I'm going to start unboxing these boxes, show you what's in them, see what kind of treasures we can find or something like that and uh, see what's what I have no idea what's coming, but we're going to figure it out one way or the other. In the meantime, welcome to Rick D reacts. This is my massive comic book unboxing. This is going to take a while. We're opening up this first box. Uh, this is just a regular banker's box kind of thing. Not really a banker's box, but just a regular box. And we're going to pull... Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Uh, as you can see, a lot of these are not bagged. Or backed. Some of them are. But Vampirella, Vicious, Razor... Not familiar with Razor. So some of that stuff. It looks to be like really clean. Some bends in the spines. You can see the bends in the spines here, but oh, they went and you got those on clearance. So they all got stickers on the front. So that sucks. But what are you gonna do? Let's see what else is in here. Okay, this one's bagged and back. Tigress tails. This is issue two. Never heard of that. Flowers on the razor wire. Not bagged. A bunch of other stuff in here that's not bagged. Tiger's Tales again. Can't really. Issue three. Tiger's Tales. Issue five. Looks like issue five. Nice art. Is that a. Is that Frazetta? I think it is Frazetta. Oh, um, Hoffman. Okay. Issue one, two. All right, so this guy's got a kind of tigress. I'm not familiar with her. And oddly enough, I don't see the uh, publisher on the front, which is weird. But anyway, it must be independent. So there's some more razor. Coffin. Steve
Stephen King is a stand. All these things have freaking who put who put look if, if you're putting price stickers on covers of comic books you need holy cow just i'm not saying they're worth anything but here's the iliad a bunch of other stuff in here that's just not really bad okay i see some bags down here oh x factor okay oh x factor number one it's not bat but it is bagged Holy cow, I actually had that one in my first collection. That's awesome. X Factor 2. Red Sonia Ultimate. Oh wow, so it looks like he's got a, got a run of X Factor. Oh, another X Factor 1. Man, I wish they were backed. Steed and Peel. Oh, so those are the Avengers. Uh, trade paperback, saving the world in style, boom comics. Anything else back? Okay, here's the bags. Swamp thing. Nice. Legend of the Shadow Clan from Aspen. Uh, that one's signed, whatever it is. I'll have to take that out and look at it. I oh, got all these signed. Nice. Not sure. Hmm. Almo City Comic Con from 2013. Guardians of Great Secure. Sonian. So a little bad. That's nice. Keep those separate. Terry Moore Echo. You can see a lot of these are not. Weird titles in here that I've just never seen before. Gail you know, the Tigress. Man, it looks like all these. Yeah, he's not bagging them because they all got they all got uh, stickers on them, which is really a shame. Because they got them for twenty five cents, so for twenty five cents, that's at least some good reading. Mike Hoffman's Tigress again. Satana. Again with the stickers. Fourteenth anniversary furlough from Radio Comics. Never heard of it. Adventures, Lord, Old Lords, Furlough. Those are all about. I'll definitely check those out. See what they're up all about. Ugh, which blade? So much, so much good stuff in here that's just useless because it has all those stickers on them. And they're just in terrible shape. Let's see if there's anything. Marvel caught my eye there. Yeah. Oh, 1602. Okay. With. <sighs> stickers on them. Dang. That sucks, man. He's got some pretty good ones in here, but just some of them is going to be useless. But make a good reading anyway. Good for your kids. What is this shot? Are they bad? These are all bad, them really. Nice. Fathom. 
Man, Fathom's great too, it's a shame. Those all have stickers on them. That sucks. But, so this is a pretty useless one right here. Look at these. Shahrazad, Shahrazad, signed. X-Files. Well, it's bagged, but it's got price tag on it. Two tops cards. Penny for your soul. All right, so that's the pretty much the first box there. Bunch of crazy stuff in here. Just to give you a look at some of the weird stuff in here. Mark Grimm. Uh, last Robin Selena. Triple Play. Bill uh, Angel. Oh, it's actually... Wow, it's actually a really good copy. Clean looks like, but got that stupid sticker on it. So I'm gonna have to go through here later and kind of figure out if any of these are salvageable or even if that sticker, Danger Girl, Elijah Spirit, Fathom, Spirit, Condemned by, oh, Warhammer, nice. Fathom. Sade, yeah. Red Knight. He got them. Just, I've never heard of these things, which is probably why he got them for 25 cents, but some pretty interesting covers in here. Crash Ryan, Crash Ryan. Mark Grimm. Elf Lord. Bad on. First. Firstborn, Top Cow, and Rice interview with a vampire from Innovation. Again, with a sticker on it. Sheesh, so disappointing. So, man, if I start seeing a bunch of stickers on this. <sighs> all right, so that's the first box. Uh, got some pretty nice stuff in here, but again, with all these stickers on there, a lot of this stuff's just going to be pretty low rent. And since they cleared them off for 25 cents, probably not worth anything anyway, but. That's the first box anyway, so we'll get to the long boxes soon enough, but that's the first box. Next. All right, so <clears throat> I decided to start looking through some of these other, like the bigger boxes, not the long boxes yet, but these messy boxes. I didn't feel like holding my camera and trying to sort through everything, but I've really come across some pretty cool stuff. The uh, A lot of it, I'm still getting a ton of stuff with stickers on there but they're actually in really good shape like that's that's a really nice edge so apparently these things were like just compressed in there even though they're laying down and not right side up um and even though they got the sticker on there they're still in really good shape but they are like lesser known uh projects eve the tenth all these image comic books but you can just feel them and feel that they're like really in really great shape of course, I'm not opening them or anything. Oh, Dark Horse. Rogue Squadron. Nice. Star Trek from DC. More Eve. So, a bunch of uh, interesting stuff in here. Even Astro City, which I love Astro City. One, probably one of the best comic books ever made. Ghost, I'm not familiar with. Nemnoverse I'm not familiar with, but I did run across some of them that didn't have the stickers. Not in great shape, but Marco Sharon. Uh, here's some old ones, man. Commandy, which I think is like 79.80. 77. Wow. So Commandy. A couple of those. Kazar. That's an older one. You guys have some ripping on the edge there. So these aren't in great shape, and for not being bagged and back, they're actually in pretty good shape for being from like the late 70s, early 80s. This one's from 83. Uh, a couple, the first, whatever that is, Negation. That's from Cross Gen, Image, Myth Stalkers, Mystic, Mummy from uh, IDW, Wildstorm, Rookagen, or Rookin, Red Sonia. And actually in really good shape, you can see like even on the binds, like not a lot of, like a couple little bends here, but still really great, still really holding it. DC's Phantom, in a new format. Oh, 1989, okay. So, 
CGE The Path, Route 66 from Cross Chen, more Roken. Oh, these are actually not bad shape. You can see like the edges are really clean, still reflective with the light. Just haven't been bagged or back, so I have to go through those and check them out. Found some pretty interesting ones over here too. Uh, some more Vampirella, Boston Space, which isn't in great shape, innovation. Death Dealer has some binding issues. Purgatory and Vampirella, Artesia, never heard of it. Old Warlord, John Carter, Warlord of Mars from Marvel. That's from like, man, that has to be, yeah, 1979. Right there, sheesh. And of course, like almost no binder on it at all. It's all been eaten away. Will Eisner's Spirit, decent shape. Star Wars, that's an early 80s one, and that's, well, actually, it's probably mid 80s. That looks like one of the later ones. Yeah, 86, I think. Yeah. Iron Man, Steel Story. So, some crazy old ones in here that are showing up. I have no idea what that is. Some picture. Chastity from Chaos Comics, number two or four. Then they got these Conan Saga, which I remember collecting these when I was a kid. And just pretty decent shape. It's hard to find these in like mint condition because of the magazine format. So they don't get bagged and backed a lot. But uh, this is from like 1990. Yeah, so it's later, later stuff. But man, they had some great issues that came out of there. I think I saw the, uh, hold on. Yeah, Queen of the Black Coast, which is like an epic story for Conan. I remember reading that when I was when I was in my twenties, I guess. And uh, so that's pretty cool. I also got this a manga book, Manga Messiah, which looks like a manga telling of uh, the Gospel of John, James Bond, James Bond, Permission to Die in Serpent's Tooth, Indiana Jones. Got this Heroes hardback still a good binder because it's still stiff league of extraordinary gentlemen hardback also still in really stiff pretty good condition ready to open it all the way and uh corbin i think this one i pulled out from there too which i've never heard of it no idea what that is but still goes on the outside so that's good but still finding some crazy stuff so i'm just kind of sifting through here and seeing like what's showing up and what's crazy and what's not. Lone Ranger and Tonto from Dynamite. All these have stickers though. Farscape, probably best sci-fi, one of the best sci-fi shows on TV ever. Echo, all these with stickers on them. Oh, whoa, 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 what's this? Scare for a cure. Run your own haunted house. Okay. Well, whatever. It's a factory sealed deck. So I'll check that out later and find out what that is. So Echo, Echo, Area. Never heard of it. Oh, Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers. All these have. I hate, I hate. I mean, I don't know. He must have bought these in bulk at one time, so. King of Kings, by One Pictures, The Prophet, Make the Trail. None of those have stickers, but no idea what they are. Adventures Unlimited. A magazine? Yeah, a magazine. Some sort. Oh, here, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy cow, that's an old one. 12 cents. I'm not opening that up, but it looks like number 71 of Texas Rangers. Wow, Gold Key, Tarzan of the Apes. I'm afraid to touch this stuff now. Kind of stuck together. December. October. Wow. So actually some really, really old stuff there. I'm not sure how old that is, so I'll have to check into those. That's cool. 
I found some of these too. I'm not gonna trash them in there. Uh, this is a little journal, Max's journal from Shark Boy and Lava Girl, which I guess was like promotional material. Uh, the weird, world's weirdest comic books book, which actually I think I've seen this one before. So that's unusual. 3D glasses. Go figure if you ever need them. Awesome. Four books of uh, Bloom County, which is fantastic. Oh, I wonder if. Uh, Wonders, I love it. If he has that, oh man, is it in there? This one actually came with a, with a flimsy record that you could play. It had an A side and a B side. I used to have it, but I don't anymore. Oh, there it is! Holy cow, that's awesome. Yep, I'm a boinger. And you stink, but I love you. Oh, it's fantastic! It's still in there. Looks like it's, yeah, sealed in there. So it's, oh, it's the original. Oh, that's excellent. That's a great thing. Uh, Tunes for Our Times classic. Tales to Ticklish to Tell. If you've never read Bloom County, man, Berkeley Breathe probably put out one of the best comic book comic strips ever. So I'm really happy to find those. I also got a Lord of the Rings goblet here. I think it's Aragorn because that's the picture on there, but I'm not sure. Haven't opened it. This is so well from image. Yeah, these are all. Looks like these all have stickers on them. Ooh, old ones too. 25 cents. Oh, they're older and they have how many years at Atlas Comics. Oh, it's got a, oh, it's got a stamp in it too. It sucks. 75. Wow. Man, they just did not know how to treat them. Buffs are Galactica, Buffy, Dragon Ring, Elf Warrior, Elf Lord. A lot of elves down here. More fathom. Still seeing, seeing stickers on everything. Green horn. This Kate Smith's green hornet. Oh, new sticker. Oh, hardback. Mighty Warriors Annual 1970. That's a hardback, too. That's crazy. Hornby Books has a sticker on it, but Western Publishing Company. Oh, signed too. Oh. Nope. Doesn't count if it's from Mama and Papa. But still also we'll take a look at it. Vampirella. Wore out. Next to the spirit. You witness. There's some Christian material in here. These are all. Yeah. Christian times of the third. Is that stick on the outside? Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Wow. That's for the uh, movie. That's cool. Stick that over here. Vampirella, 50 cents. Oh, so that's an older one. Kind of a little beat up on the edges, but only 50 cents, so that's an older one for sure. And Vampirella. These aren't backed, but they're bagged. Okay, these are all in together. Whew! That's some old stuff there, man. Gold, gold key. Have to go through those. He's just got these in packs. Holy cow. 10 rare old Magus Comics, 25 bucks. Holy cow. Dark Shadows, 10 for 15. These are all gold key, 20 cent books. Not in great shape. You can see the spines. Now, 10 gold key ghost horror for $15. Well, I'm going to have to go through those and check them out. So that's pretty cool. Got another one back here. Star Trek. Angel. This one down here. Actually, get that barrel out. Now it's kind of beat up a little bit. Hold on. Let's see. Bring another star stickers. See if that comes. Urban Myths. Captain Carrot. <laughs> Conan Adventures from Marvel. Silver, ooh, a Silver Surfer, 82. Wow. That's in really great shape, too, even though it's not backed. I think that's like uh, 93. Yeah, 93. Nice. 
Wow, it's really great shape for not being backed. And my sticker done, my red Sonia, no stickers, that's awesome. Premier issue, a man from Uncle from Tiki Comics, number 50, don't know those. But they're bagged, so that's cool. Lost Boys, Black Terror, Witchblade, Ape City, The Goon. Put all these things got stickers on them, man, Tau, Terminator. Four. Okay, so it's a limited series. This one doesn't have a sticker on it. That one does. Doctor Who, Mighty W. Final issue, no sticker. That's nice. Pretty good quality, pretty good shape, too. First wave. Angel Stunt Future, Abyss. Abyss. Oh, those are hard. Hard covers, too. Regular comics with hard list different comics. They're really good shape. from DC, 15 cents. Jeez. Adventures. I don't have a sticker on them, but I don't know. Eric from DC, that's an old one. Play early, mid 80s, early 80s, 60 cents. 75 cents. Kind of got a little bit of warping in them. But the edges are not that bad. Mm, somewhat. Star Trek. That's a mystery. Golly. Fathom, fathom. Eve. Oh, Evangeline. Angel after the fall. Proof. Yeah, something's good for Warrior Nun grab bag. Arian, more area on the Immortal. More Red Sonia. Wizards of the Coast. That's the magazine. Yeah. Whoa, Dragon Slayer. Holy cow. Why does it have to have a sticker on it? Drone. Echo. Echo, 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 Shards, The Invaders, early 90s, Jungle Girl, oh, there's another old one, Chuck Chandler is at Curtis Boy Comics, huh. I know I saw some, okay, yeah, now we got some crazy stuff down here. Well, it's nice that they got some kind of bag in them. Oh my goodness, no way. Number 87, Batman. <whistles> Not too shabby. What else is in here? Troy's old, just spellbound. And uh, the distant soil. Star Wars Episode 1 magazine. Whew. All right, so. Moving along, we got over here. All right, so we got Dick Tracy, Tommy Guns, and Hard Times. Comics values annual 2004, useless. Comics value 2006, useless. Superman the Dailies, 39 to 42. Wow, that's pretty cool. Such great artwork. That's cool. Put these over here. All right, let's see what we got in here now. At least these are standing up. That's another base that's got a thing on it. Air Boy. Tim Strong, Tom Strong, Alita Battle Angel. Nice. All these things with freaking 25 cents on them. Angel, 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 Angels. <laughs> Okay, 
Angels. Oh, one of those Anna Mercury. Oh, no, it's got Astro City. Ooh, with no sticker. Book three. Dark Age, is that right? That one's got a sticker. Oh, this is all Astro City stuff. Holy cow. It's not bad. It looks like it's alphabetized, though, but. Thanks for that, but unfortunately, all these stickers are just. Oh, the crow, really? Down here. Dark Child. Doctor Who. That's the mystery. William. Metal Hurlant. There's a Cordia. Phantom. And all these stuff are just useless. All of them have stickers on them. But pretty good shape though, man. I can feel they're all like pretty good, they're all in pretty good shape. Just beat up. So that's that box. This comic scene. Oh my is that Stan? Holy cow. Oh, that's an old one. Wonder Women of America. Uh okay. Whatever. Penny and Soul are bad. I mean pick it up. Hey, bags, nice. I'm gonna be able to use those then. Fugitoid. San Japan. Blue Beetle. Vampirella. Crux. Which blade? Man. Yeah. It's different than on that one, nice. Hold on. Paradox. Consumed. This guy was a big collector of like horror and mystery, wasn't he? Ooh, whole silver surfers. Oh, wooden. Shoosh. That's a really good shake, too. I know some of y'all are freaking out the way I'm handling these, but trust me, they've already been manhandled. And with that sticker on there, they're just not worth that much anyway. What is that? Steampunk. Nice covers. Okay, what is all this? <laughs> got potting flour, potting stuff in with comic books. It's just all kinds of brilliant. <sighs> yeah, some mouse or something made a home in here. Look at all that chewed up. So that's all junk. But I did pull out these. So we're going to look through here. And that mouse did get a hold of them. So some of these are trash. Look at that. Vanguard. Vanguard. House of Mystery. All back, but oh, Magic the Gathering, nice. Looks like it may have been broken, but I don't know. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's sealed. It's factory sealed. Number four. Never heard of it. So like what's really interesting is all these though. I just pulled these out. Nice. Damaged all the heck, but it's got water damage on it, wrinkled, broken spine, so not great, but still pretty cool to read. Ah, so all these are bagged. Possibly back, but they are because they're in a bag and not stood up. They're all folded. They're all got a warp in them. You can see the warp. Still, spirit. Yeah. And you're bagging them even after they're tagged. Come on. Oh, these things are all stuck together. So let's see here. Somerset Homes. Man, 
Yeah, they all, they get, these are bagged in back, but they still got stickers on them. They're all underneath the, underneath the bag. Just, oh, here's an older one. years of 91 number 358 nice oh what if what deity never heard of it helios atomic angels what if number six? Whoa, that's an old one. Hmm. What if number two? Oh. What if number one? Get out of here. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. How is that for a countdown? Jeez, is that? I'm not opening it right now, but that looks original. Oh, might be a reprint, but I don't think so. I don't think it's a reprint. I'll have to check that out. Well, it's 50 cents, so. Huh. Vault of Horror, Star Wars number one. Get out. Oh no, get out of here. Dude, it's actually in really good shape. Not meant by any means, but might be good to very good. Holy cow. Well, what if? How do you just sit these things in a bag and let a mouse? Ugh. It's disgusting. What is this? Sky doll. I don't know that one. It's got a sticker on it. Tail spinners. HP is Lovecraft Cthulhu. Yeah, stickers on the book. Oh, Babylon 5. And of course, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's on, the, it's on the book. Probably one of the other best TV shows ever. The Green Llama and Black Terror. Twilight. Oh, I saw that up there. It said book 11 of 111. I'm like, what? And there's a book one of 100. Oh, it's book one of three, book two of three. That's funny. Hellhound. Dawn. Oh. Nice. Is this Dawn? Oh, it's Dawn number one. Stickers on the outside. Oh, it looks like they got all six issues in here. So that must be the limited series. Three bucks, so yeah, probably. Thunder. Danger Girl Trinity. Also, still on the books. All right, so, you see now, these are bagged. These are mostly bagged. These are all bagged. All right, so, that's the end of the trash books, bags, boxes, whatever you want to call them. Um, so, just kind of went through there and found a bunch of stuff, and I can understand why a bunch of it wasn't bagged or anything. But uh, hopefully now that we're getting to these banker boxes and we're getting to these... Uh, 
bigger boxes. We're going to start with those banker boxes next and uh, see what all's in those because it looks like we'll have some bag stuff in there. And uh, But I'm pretty impressed with some of the stuff we found so far. Star Wars number one, what if number one, just I was not expecting that in that bag of trash in that, that mouse hole or whatever that was. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, stick around. Next time uh, we'll break into these banker boxes and figure out what's going on. Y'all have a good one. Peace.